Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking out taking a look at a new frame from I still don't know how to pronounce her name and Nidici, Nid, Nidici, I don't know. Anyways, it's the Chinese company and uh, some of their products are kind of cloned and some are inspired in a way. So this one here is pretty interesting. This is this is the whole frame right here. This is crazy. It's in, that's it, just that. And obviously the hardware and the TPU and uh, the, the 3D printed parts. Now this one is kind of inspired by the floss and it's like a hybrid between the floss and the diatone, uh, the light edition one. I forgot what it's called. But this is what they're trying to aim at here. So right now I'm going to put it together real quick and we're going to take a look at it, see its weight. Uh, the, but I, from just right off the beginning, I could tell you the carbon is is um, is insanely good. I mean, this is the, I think this yeah this is the bottom plate. This is a three millimeter bottom plate. This is a two millimeter upper plate. It does have a little flex. The arms are five millimeters, like really super rigid here. Uh, a little bit of flex, but we'll see how it is once we put it together. So let's quickly put it together, come back and take another look at it. All right, guys. So here it is put together with the 3D components without the motor guards here. Now, from looking at it, I really like it. Um, it it's the arms are sturdy, but the body's not sturdy. You could see it bend. Can you see the body bend when I do that? So yeah, that's something to take note of. It seems like it would take somewhat of a good hit, but um, it's not meant to be a tank. That's one thing. It's meant to be pretty light and pretty sturdy. Now, is there a play in the arms? Uh, no, the arms are pretty good. There's no play in the arms, but you need to take something also into consideration with this frame. You know, you can tighten these as much as you can, but when you go to tighten the second screw that holds the arm also into the standoff, you can only do so much unless you want to damage the standoff with holding it with pliers. Uh, so take that into consideration. There's only two screws holding the arms in place. These ones with the nuts and the ones that are going into the standoffs. Um, overall, you, know, you have 25 millimeters of space inside, so it's somewhat of a lowrider-ish. So you probably be able to f barely fit maybe a three stack or a two stack. And if you haven't already noticed, it does take 30 by 30 and 20 by 20 uh, flight controller stacks or whatever you want to call them. Now, as you can tell here, there's also this little, you know, gap right there. And that's because it's a bottom mount battery frame, believe it or not. But you can possibly put it on the top also. But uh, this is the reason why they did that there. It's just so they can do the bot the bottom mounted solution right there and as you can tell these are 3d printed uh tpu uh parts right there so let's just see if we could focus on that real quick for you guys so yeah you can see it it's just uh yeah it's bendable it's not just hard see so that's, that's very nice to see um that does apply some dampening but then i also don't like how loose it is you see the clearance which can depending on the size of the camera can um introduce some you know unwanted uh, what is it? Un unwanted vibrations or unwanted anything in your camera video feed. Uh, overall, it's very nice. It's like 63 grams. This thing is hella light, like super light. So let's just get a take look, take a look here. And 68 grams. Yeah, 68 grams. That that's that's pretty light. That's that's pretty damn light. So a lot of these frames are pretty light nowadays, and the mil the arms are five millimeters. However, I didn't check the width. Let's actually check the width real quick because they're very tiny. Around 8.18, as you can tell right there. So, overall, it's nice. I mean, it's pretty expensive. It's 50 bucks for such a small amount of carbon fiber. But I think you'll have, like, this is the, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I was just thinking again, should I make this one the 5-inch 6S low KV build? Or you know what? Let's put this with the new Racer Star 2207 motors, the 2500 KV, and maybe a Racer Star Star F4S, and a Cadex, and maybe a Matek VTX. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll do something pretty awesome with this. Actually, I'm very curious to see how this will end it B. Uh, there's this. I believe this can take uh, anything up to 5.5 inch props because it's a 235 millimeter wheelbase. So it's a pretty long wheelbase, but I could be wrong. I haven't really measured that part for you. And here are some of the extra pieces and components you're left with here. You get some of uh, these screws here, which 
will go into the counter sunk hole as you can tell right there so it fits flush it's only for the 30 by 30 and it's m3 sized holes for the 20 by 20 stacks and the uh normal 30 by 30 stacks so these are three millimeter holes for the 20 and the th and the 30 by 30 and um yeah overall it's nice gopro mounting solution don't see a really good one really i have to design one here and depending on how the camera would sit you could have the camera i think sit inside or outside but i'm pretty sure most people prefer to have it inside and um yeah it's pretty nice i mean that's all i can really really say right now and i think actually this was the front here because if you take a look uh the camera takes a lot of space so this is i think this was the back so i would have to flip this like this and that'll make a little bit more sense because then the stack would be sitting in the back more but is it even in the center of the motors uh we'll figure it out later anyways overall it's a nice frame here it is if you wanted to check it out um it's around 50 bucks so it is a new company it's kind of hybrid insp inspired innovation if you might say they take this from here and this from here and this from here and there's only so much you can do with frames so um yeah anyways but yeah here it is it's nice i really do hope it's not a clone of something like a hardcore clone of something but it's to me it seems like it inspired between the flaws which the diatone is inspired by the flaws and then this one is inspired by both of them which is like a hybrid inspiration <laughs> you know what i mean this is the way i see it and i would really love to hear you guys feedback what do you guys see it and um yeah overall it's a nice little one and uh, it does come with the motor protectors like i showed you and it does even come with instruction manual which it really doesn't need and uh, to, to be honest this is by far better than that previous one that we already checked by them uh this this one's a lot better as you can tell you have these these are pretty nice these will protect it somewhat ish so that's very nice they include those but they need to practice on their 3d printing quality because it's not that great and uh there's the instruction manual if you needed it for some reason they teach you how to install a frame which is it's just all a, like total of eight screws and you're done and um is it eight screws i think it is we got two in the bottom here with four four eight and then we got another four that's 12 it's a total of 12 screws and you're done with this one so it's very nice to repair it's very easy to fix in the field and edit i really do like that and um that's it that's all i could really say it's super light and well i think that's really it guys that's going to conclude it for this video so i really hope you guys enjoyed it and uh please check out the website i have awesome things coming the tico 32 are coming the Maytech just got finished on their pre-order but there's also another crazy crazy sale a Maytech sale the shipping has been fixed it's been dropped a little um so it's just it's just awesome working with Maytech tico and I'm trying to bring in the dys aria too so don't miss out on those and all you could also check out the drone mesh split saying that's another awesome way to support the channel and yeah and you could join the patreon patreons get giveaways like crazy and uh, every month three to four giveaways and um you also have this access to the secret website where you can get stuff for absolutely drop dead cheap and people have seen that before so yeah you can ask around you probably understand what really goes on in there and um yeah and i really hope you guys enjoyed it now we'll see you next time see you guys take care